So House Republicans saying they're on track for health care reform. The Senate says they're focusing on the Supreme Court and the White House has promised tax reform and infrastructure spending. So what can we expect going forward? What can the markets expect going forward? Joining me right now, American Majority CEO Ned Ryan and former D.C. Democratic Chairman Scott Bolden. Good to see both you guys. I got to point out again, investors want this to happen. Most especially tax reform. Uh, you know, they, they want the health care reform as well. But tax reform is front and center and has been from the very beginning on everyone's mind. Ned, are they going to be able to push it through without having the savings that they would have gotten from Obamacare? Well, I'm a little frustrated by this whole process. I think we should have gone with tax reform. We should have, first of all, Paul Ryan should have had people at the table the week after the election saying, here's our agenda. We're going to hammer this out. We're going to have the Freedom Caucus. We're going to have the Tuesday group. We're going to have everybody at the table. We're going to figure out what this health care bill looks like, and then everybody's going to be on the same page. And when we push for it, it's going to be one thing after another after another. They, they, they kind of tried to put the cart before the horse. They went a little too fast. A little too fast. I mean, how do you write a bill in secret and then 18 days later say we're going to try and pass this thing? Although they've had all that time to work on it, <laughs> well, right? This is, I mean... this is my frustration that we, we kind of botched it. This all to say, listen, we're 4% into the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. I, to I tweeted out on Friday evening, people, just because... Uh, repeal and replace didn't happen on March 24th. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that it won't happen. Talking with members of the Freedom Caucus, like we are, we want to get to yes, and we believe we can get to yes in a relatively short amount of time. Uh -huh. So I'm optimistic that this will happen, and then we go to tax reform, and then we can go. But to do you, wait, so you say, and then we go to tax reform? Can we just go to tax reform right now? I wish now? we would have already done it. I wish we would have started with it and gone tax All reform right. first, because I mean, repatriation of revenue, we could have brought in. Hundreds of millions, which we could have gone towards infrastructure, yeah, put two right? trillion towards All right, so jobs. Let, let, okay, so you can move on right now. Let, let's get it done. But Scott, I think we need to get both done. All we right, can get all right. both done. He's greedy. He's greedy. But, greedy. you know, if you get tax reform done, that might incentivize <laughs> folks, Scott, uh, to, well, to actually get some savings on well, the repeal and replace. What do you anticipate happening as far as taxes specifically go? Well, until you solve the civil war in the, civil, in the Republican Party, not a whole lot's going to get done. It's been eight years plus. The Republican Party is united on not being united. That's really what they do well. They're the party of no. And so now the optimism about the health care bill, what the Republicans need to be talking about is, is helping and fixing Obamacare, not no. replacing, hold on, not replacing or repealing it because the Republicans need the Democrats in order to get something done. You watch. It's not going to happen. It's not going to go forward. Now, when you look at tax reform, tax reform is a problem without Obamacare being repealed because the taxes are are so high in coverage in the Medicaid expansion and okay, the Medicaid so you're, you're coverage. going back to saying you need both. You um, need you, both, you, and, and it's stubborn for the Republicans to think otherwise. Look at your record. Can, can you get some Democrats? What about infrastructure spending? Yeah, so right? He's talking about spending go, on that. Know, can you bring you know, the Dems over with that? I think you can bring with that. Veterans Affairs, I think we can get some quick wins. My, my thing, being in D.C. for almost 20 years, a lot can get done before the August recess. They might want to not take Maybe. 18 days, days off in April. Uh -huh. They might not want to take the whole month right. of August off. They might want to start voting on Mondays and not in voting until Friday. You, know, you can get a lot of work done if they want to. All right, you Scott. know, on the infrastructure, please, that's really interesting because I think you can get some Democrats because you can. that means jobs. I mean, that, that means infrastructure in all of our states. That's highways, that's railways, that's bridges. Oh, my goodness gracious, bridges are in awful shape. I think that's where you might be able to get enough consensus because you're talking about dollars and jobs and putting people back ah, to work. All right, that means I like the sound economy. of that. I, 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 I I've been saying this with all along as well. But that's a good one. I hate agreeing I, with I, the Republicans. I have a feeling but you got my agreement on you that. You might get Nancy <laughs> Pelosi or, or, or Chuck Schumer coming around if you offer a little bit of money yep. in their direction. <laughs> anyway, Ned and Scott, I'm going to see you guys in a little money bit. Talks. President Trump's